Okay, today's calls, kind of interesting. Number one, what's it take to be a finder? Very interesting. This is from a private equity consultant. Times have changed. The business broker business has changed. Real estate buyers and seller contracts have changed. You see what's happening here? Everything's changing. It's hard to really find out how to make a buck legally, okay? So to understand what I'm trying to say is, let's just talk a little bit about real estate, residential real estate, what has changed. Now it's to the point where nationally, a buyer has to have a representative as a agent and the buyer pays their representative the commission. It's no longer where the seller pays the buyer's commission, okay? Now, how's that look on the seller side? The seller hires, let's call it a listing agent. They sign only an engagement to sell it and receive a commission to a licensed broker of approximately their two, three percent, whatever that may be. It's no longer where the seller's agent splits the fee with the buyer's agent without a contract. So there's savings. That's a good thing. I'm in the process of selling my condo in Florida. I just saved at least a point to two points maybe three, which is awesome. So, now what's a finder? A finder is in the, uh, 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 what we call the business of finding a deal, either a buyer or a seller, and under contract, there's, it's called an engagement. An engagement is where the finder presents a contract to the client, Whatever, whether they're a buyer or a seller, could be both, under contract. And so the finder must have a legitimate contract. Now, the question that was asked, do you need an attorney to draw this agreement up? Yes, definitely. A finder with experience, especially a knowledge of M&A, mergers and acquisitions, they understand what it takes. Do you have to be FINRA licensed? No. You don't have to be FINRA licensed. Just so you have a contract signed by your client legitimately, and it's usually approved by the CEO of the private equity group or the uh, owner of the business or whatever. So that's just a short synopsis of what's happening. Now, how, what type of criteria does it take to be a finder? Well, it takes experience takes knowledge, understanding the ins and outs of a deal. Now, does a finder get involved in the negotiations? No, that's not part of the deal. It's basically an introduction. They might consult on the side to uh, beyond the uh, buyer-seller agreement to help, um, let's say, uh, solidify and close the deal. Sometimes people need the unsophisticated seller needs help in the emotional aspect. So that's where I usually consult for a potential seller to my buyer client of basically the therapeutic, the mental aspect of it, the uh, process, uh, uh, referring the right attorneys, the right tax advisors, and so on. So there's always what we call in our industry, it's called a sell side team. Okay, now, do you need a broker for that? No, you don't need a broker. You could save between five and 10% of selling your own business. It's basically a do it yourself. That's changed the industry just like the real estate industry has changed. So I just wanna talk about a little bit about how deals are done, what license need to be uh, uh, achieved or uh, uh, valid in the industry. Not everyone needs a FINRA SEC regulated license. 
they call it series 66, series 67, and so on. Now, when it comes down to commercial real estate, it'd be an asset to the finder to be able to sell the commercial real estate along with the business. And that's a separate engagement, separate agreement. So that's just another, uh, a couple tips. So people that are being either let go, terminated, uh, laid off from, let's say, uh, a business brokerage, for an example, or a private equity or family office uh, uh, consulting agreement or employment. These are some of the things that uh, the younger generations are looking at. Rock, how do I become a finder? I've been a finder for over, well, since 1993. I've been independent. I'm a matchmaker. That's what I do. And But I have to learn the hard way of uh, the legal aspects of being a finder and making sure that I abide by any regulations, by FINRA, the state agreements, uh, state laws, and so on. So it's always, you always start with a, a great attorney that not only knows the law, knows the ins and outs of loopholes on any type of uh, organizations that may not be trusted or not transparent or doesn't meet the timelines. There's, it's very critical to make sure that your agreement includes confidentiality, uh, 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 what else, a tail, okay? And by the way, you could go to my website, they named you right, or Lamonic Consulting Group, and download a glossary. A glossary could be very helpful for either your buyer or seller, or if you want to be an agent to either party to understand what to explain to your clients the terminology of making this happen. Now, one thing you should understand, most sellers, it's the first time and maybe their only time that they'll be selling the business. Where on the buy side, that's exactly what they do. They buy and sell deals, okay? So they're very well versed and they've got attorneys behind them, they have financial advisors behind them, they have tax accountants behind them. I mean, they call that a buy side team because there's integration and it's getting harder and harder now to find a good company to even acquire in today's marketplace. So is it a buyer's market? 2024, definitely a buyer's market. 2025, I would say it's still gonna be a, a, a buyer's market and depending on the political uh, uh, atmosphere for 2025, definitely a seller needs to be astute of what all the tax ramifications are for holding back and selling their business in the last five to 10 years, okay? So uh, once again, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for listening. I hope this helps. If you have any other questions, just give me a shout. You can go on my website, lamonticonsultinggroup.com, and you can contact me there through email or set up a, a time to uh, give me a shout. So good luck, man. I'll talk to you soon.